not until you go to the so. Gotcha. Good morning. Welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. My name is Dean Jones. It's a beautiful day out here in Frederick, Colorado. I'm here to show you a trailer we got available. It's a Forest River East to West 25 KRB. We'll get into what that means in a minute. The stock number on this unit is 5U210456. That's how you reference this vehicle. And we'll just go ahead and show you what this thing's all about. We're gonna start at the front end here. Um, we do have a power tongue jack, great for loading, also great for leveling. So this does half your leveling. Once you get it east to west this way, you can go north to south on this guy here. It's a really easy deal. You level, you're ready to camp a little quicker than normal than pumping it up with the handle there. Uh, this one is equipped with two 20 pound propane bottles with the cover. Um, very nice system. Some people prefer the 30 gallons. I like the 20s because they're easier to swap. You don't have to go get them filled. If you're out there on the road, you can go to any gas station or Safeway or King Supers and get yourself some propane if you'd like. It's kind of an easy deal there. We got a nice box channel Lippert frame. It's, this is kind of one of those trailers that have a little bit beefier frame than it needs, and we'll go into that in a little bit, but it's a nice, nice frame, box channel. We do have one deep cycle battery, but you do have room for two if you like. You also have a nice diamond plate rock guard. Um, you got a nice little docking light here if you're loading up at night. It's a, it's a nice little feature there. It is a 2020. Uh, we'll go over some of the stats real quick and I'll, I'll revisit them at the end. The length of this trailer is 23 feet, nine inches. The exterior height is 10 foot, seven inches and the exterior width is eight foot. It sleeps four. It's got a dry weight of 4,973 pounds. Your GVWR is 7,565 uh, total. So what that means is this, this camper can hold almost 2,600 pounds of cargo, which is way overkill, but you got these two beefy um, tandem axles and that kind of is overkill for a camper this size and weight. So it just helps you out and carrying stuff. So that's good to know. Uh, again, you have the 40 pound bottle. Your freshwater tank, we're gonna have 45 gallons of fresh water. We're gonna have 30 gallons of great tank storage and 30 gallons of black tank storage. Um, and we'll just go check it out. So we'll start here. You've got, this is part of your pass through storage. And as you can see, it's real clean, finished off, plenty of room for fishing poles and that kind of thing. You do have an outdoor shower with a quick connect port there. Um, hot and cold. You can just pop it through that little thing there if you want to wash off the bikes or whatever. You do have a city water connection right there, which is nice that it's indoors. You do have a power outlet right there. It's a GFCI. And this is where you put your cable and your, and your satellite if you're at a campground. So that's nice. Uh, you've got nice little drop doors with the little catches. Now this is where you want to fill your fresh water tank. So it's just a, an inlet. You got that. Everything's labeled real nice and easy. This is also aluminum sided trailer. It's not a fiberglass, so it's gonna be, it's gonna succumb to hail. But what's nice about this guy, if you get a little damage on any lower part of this camper, it's a lot easier to repair. You can just take off a piece, replace it. Makes it a lot easier in ownership. It's better than having to take off a whole wall in case you run into a gas station bollard or something like that. Really nice. And under here, I'll have them come under. What's nice about this camper is it's got an enclosed underbelly. A lot of these entry level campers are exposed. That's insulated and sealed. So that's gonna get you deeper into the camp seasons. You're on 15 inch steel wheels, but it is a wide track trailer. So it's not real buttoned up. The wider you go, the more stable. 
and the easier it is going to be to pull it. So that's a nice feature on this camper. Uh, you do have your 30 amp plug in right here. This is the access to the back of your Dometic refrigerator inside. We'll show you in a minute. These are your uh, furnace exhaust ports, but they, they have been upgraded with these magnetic little catches so you don't get, you know, bugs and stuff in there. That was an add on from the previous owner. Down here, you've got your gray tank, your black tank, which is easily labeled. Uh, there's your outlet. But you also have back here that's been insulated here, two low point water drains. And you also have two up front. So I don't know if you can see that over there, but you've got two sets of low point drains, which is real nice. And just remember, gray is gray, black is black on the handle. Real easy to figure out there. This is the Silver Lake edition. Coming back here, I'll point out, this one does have a spare tire. Not all little campers come with spare tires, so this is a nice little feature. You know that if you get a flat going down the road, you got something to back you up. Uh, you do, it is a crowned roof, as you can see. That keeps the elements coming off your camper, and you've got your little gutter spouts that keeps it away from the camper, so it keeps you dry. Right here, back there, you've got a pre-wired docking place for a backup camera. This isn't supplied with one, but the good news is if you do want to upgrade to a camera, they just plug it in. It's already in the power system that's going to go to your truck. Comes with a little screen that you just mount to your windshield and you always know what's going on back here as you're going down the road. So that's a really nice deal. It does have the tube bumper. This is where most people store their sewage hoses. So that's its utility and its function there. Here you're going to have your water heater. That's just access to that guy. And coming around here, one of my favorite parts of this little guy, because it's really kind of neat that they did this, is you've got an LP quick connect right here. I don't know if you can see that. But what that's for, that comes off those 40 pound bottles of propane. You run a little pipe out here, a little hose, and you put a low pressure grill out here and you're always hooked up to your propane and you can do some barbecuing out here and it's just right there easy so you don't have to adapt onto your bottles. So it's really nice that way. It's a good looking camper. You do have tinted safety glass all the way throughout. And this one's supplied with a 12-foot awning. It's just a really nice big awning. Do some camping out here, some relaxing under the sun. It comes with the LED light strip that goes from the whole length of the awning. That keeps you out here at night. You'll be able to see what you're coming in and out of your camper. You do have a nice little door clip. Keep that door from blowing in and out. Nice little screen door. Keep the bugs out. And when it's all closed up, you also have a handle that helps secure the door when it's shut moving down the road. So that's kind of nice. Three-step entry, real easy to pop in and out of there. Let's go check out the inside. This is really neat. So the 25 KRB stands for King Bed Rear Bath. So yeah, this doesn't have any slides. It's a real simple, basic camper, but it does have a nice king bed inside. And we'll show you that in a minute. But the rear bath is really neat. And you would think without having the slides that you'd be limited on space, but we'll start with the bathroom because it's huge. It's one of my favorite parts. One, it's on the opposite side of the camper from your bedroom, but it's also huge. So you see all the light in here. You got a nice skylight. I'm 6'1". I fit in this shower, no problem. And it's got a really nice neo-angle shower, opaque glass, so you have privacy. And there's no swing on this door, so you're not losing any space getting in and out of your, your, your shower. I love these little neo-angle showers. The pan's a little bit lower than the other tub systems. You do have the nice brush nickel finished shower fixtures, nice residential type tub. This is really neat too, because this can act as a towel rack or if you want to put some camping supplies, it's just a grab and go shelf, but it does have lips. So as you're going down the road, your stuff's not going to end up on the floor. So they kind of thought about that. This here is your, your heat vent right here. So what Forest River decided to do is keep the hose, the, the heating system above floor so you don't have any weak spots in your floor. So that's kind of something that's, but it's really nice because it keeps it nice and warm in here. Um, you do have a nice countertop right here with the GF, CI, so you can put, you know, whatever you need to do go in there. It's not going to hurt anything with water. Nice deep sink, big vanity, nice storage. You've got nice shaker cabinets. 
with your mirrors, nice medicine cabinet. You do have plenty of room around your toilet, which is something they usually skimp on when it comes to these little campers. Nice little foot flush Dometic. But you also have non-slip residential flooring in here, real easy to clean. Just a really nice bathroom for this size of camper. I, I, I'm really impressed by this guy. So as you come into the kitchen here, there's a couple of cool things. This is a really nice deep 48 inch boot dinette that also retracts into a bed. So that's really nice. But what I like about it is they can put this big window right here. So as you're having dinner at night, you still see your campsite. You still get to see all the nature out there. You do have pleated shades that come down real easy. So it's a nice system. No blinds you got to contend with. Um, these are those shaker cabinets we were talking about. They put a lot of storage up here right above that for your games, your cards, your camp stuff, your dishes. Push button lighting, nice little balances. As we come over here, we'll notice that we have a Furion um, audio center. This is a dual zone. You have your speakers up here. You have two speakers outside. You can Bluetooth into this guy. It's a really nice system. And again, Furion's a great brand. I, I love to see that in the campers. So you do have a panel here. This is gonna operate your awning, your water heater, your water pump, some awning lights, some interior lights, and then you have your battery and your tank check right there. So it's a real simple panel. It doesn't take a lot to get used to using it. On this side of the kitchen, we do have a nice eight cube Dometic uh, propane or electric refrigerator. Very clean, real nice. You can put a lot of stuff in there. Um, great storage, great function. Um, you do have a Magic Chef microwave. And you do have a 16 inch oven. That's a really, really big oven. A lot of them, they put this shelf in the middle and you can only get pizzas or cinnamon rolls, but this one's been lowered so you can actually cook a casserole or something like that in there. Um, another design feature I like about this oven is you do have, you don't have three little burner tops. You can put your stuff anywhere on here and it kind of makes it easier to cook, you know. Because smaller, smaller stoves like this with three little burners, it kind of gets a little hard to make food for five, six people. But this one's actually, you can move pans aside and stuff. That's actually been something they've actually thought about. Nice little subway tile backsplash. You do have your, your nice little vent here. And another thing they like, this is a big undermount farm sink, uh, one piece laminate countertop. What's nice about this is they went with a suspension handle, which is, doesn't seem like much, but the other alternative is you have this weighted hose in the back, and when you put stuff in here, it gets tangled up with that hose, and then this thing isn't working very good, so they just eliminated that with this guy. It's just a spring suspension sprayer. You can get all the way to all four corners of the sink. It's a really nice little option there. Uh, you've got light there, another GFCI here, and then you've got a lot of drawers, and they're on bar ball bearing slides. And you've got a lot of drawer space there. You've also got some nice drawers right here. All the way back there, you can put a lot of storage there and that's on both sides of your booth. So that's a really nice feature as well. Now over here I have a little prop, it's a little generator that we, have, that we sell here in our parts department. But just to illustrate, this is a nice little space here. You would think that it was like something forgotten, but it's actually there to just put a bunch of cargo in there. Easy to reach when you get in the door. It's one of my favorite parts of this trailer because you know, you want a generator, you can just pop it in here. You want to pop it out, set up real quick. You're not digging it out of the under storage. You're not trying to climb over stuff to get it out of the bathroom. It's just a really neat little cargo area. If you want to put your tackle boxes, I love that. I love the fact that there's space right here by the door. Now this is a neat little deal here. This is a jackknife little sofa. It's uh, pretty comfortable. And what I like about it is with the TV mounted on the wall right there, you could have two or three people here a couple people here so the whole family can watch what's on the TV. It's kind of, it, it doesn't seem like very important, but when you're, the guy's sitting in that, that part of the booth and you're turning around to watch TV, it doesn't last long. So this is a nice little setup here so you can get everyone looking at the TV if you're gonna watch movies out there. Um, this does jackknife, so it does make a nice little bed for, you know, it's not gonna sleep an adult couple, but it will sleep a teenager or someone a little smaller, but it's nice to have that. But my favorite part is that it's, it's, it's a nice little place to watch TV. Now you do have heater vents here. You have heater vents right here by your fuse panel underneath the oven. You do have a little propane and carbon dioxide, or dioxide detector, and you've got all that storage underneath that jackknife. So storage comes, I mean, it's a, there's a lot of it. I mean, for a non-slide camper, this has got a lot going for it. 
and it's real simple. You're not going to have slide issues. You're just going to hook up to it and go. The fact that it's only 5,500 pounds, dry weight, you can hook it up to a, a mid-sized truck, a Tacoma. Uh, you can hook it up to a bigger SUV or a half-ton truck. It's a real simple unit. It's a great entry-level unit if you're just starting the lifestyle. But you do have plenty of storage, wood cabinets. You do have the lip here on all the cabinets here, so stuff just doesn't come flying out of there. You also have all these lights are LED. You can pop them on as you want, make the mood lighting, bright it up. You also have switches on those, so if you want to kill the whole thing, that's not a problem. You have a smoke detector, and you also have uh, vented roof for the air. So this, this air conditioner, it's a 13,500 BTU AC, but it vents through the whole coach and the ceiling, so it's even distribution. It's not just coming out here. So that's a good thing too. And that's controlled by this Dometic uh, thermostat. Just climate controlled there, real easy. Now for the, the really, really cool part of this camper. You've got the king size bed, and it's not an RV king. It's a true king size bed. So the sheets that you're going to get, you can get them anywhere. Uh, you do have strut storage. So these little struts keep this up while you're getting stuff in and out of there. So that's nice. It's called a bed lift. Um, you do have nice wardrobe cabinets on both sides of these, these guys. I'll open this one for you. So you, his and hers wardrobe cabinets. You do have lights underneath here, so you can read if you like. What's even nice too is you have two USB ports on both sides of this camper. You've got nightstand storage right here, so your electronic, your iPads, your phones, your laptops, if you need to plug them into USB, or there's an outlet right here, I don't know if you can see it, but that's good for CPAP machines. Um, they've really thought about this area, so and you can walk around all three sides of this bed to make it. So for having a king bed in such a small trailer with no slides, I think they pulled it off. I really do. You do have vents in the ceiling if you want to get the hot air out when you first get going in the morning. There's a vent there. Nice windows with pleated shades throughout. And this happens to be the exit window if you have something going on you need to escape if you need to get out of the camper. So but that's it's not a big camper, but they've got a lot of cool little features to it. Um, I'm going to go over those stats again just real quick because I told you I would. Uh, again, the length of it is 23.9. The exterior height is 10.7. The exterior width is 8 foot. It sleeps 4. It's got a dry weight of oh, 49.73. So again, you can use a nice little small truck for it. Um, GVWR is 75.65, which is truly amazing. 40 pounds of uh, propane, 45 gallons of fresh, 30 gallons of gray, and 30 gallons of black. And my name is Dean Jones. You can get a hold of me at 303-684-3424, or my cell at 720-347-7063, or you can email me at dean.jones at transwest.com. It's been a pleasure showing you this camper, and uh, we'll see you next time.